to the controversial plan by Comcast to charge some internet customers more. It'll depend on how much data you're using at home. Go over the limit and the price goes up. But some people say that in a world of remote learning and working, this just isn't fair. Here's WBZ's Bill Shields. Working from home, remote learning. They used to be foreign concepts, but not during COVID. Nowadays, more and more people are at home and using the internet. And now one provider, Comcast, has decided to raise the cost of using the internet, if you're using it a ton. To say that this is only going to affect a small level of customers, um, I think we're still talking about thousands of people. And there are thousands of people that are hurting right now, working from home and learning from home. But Comcast says its data cap is not aimed at the average family, but at those who go over 1,200 hours of distance learning video, stream 500 hours of high-def video content a month, or play more than 34,000 hours of online games. But Representative Vargas says it's just a money grab. Are they seeing increased costs as a business because people are using more data? And the answer to that question is no. Um, what most people don't know is that it's not the amount of data that you use that ends up costing the internet service provider more money. It's the level of speed that you get that data delivered to your house. But Comcast says this is only going to affect a very small percentage of its customers, less than 5%. And they're putting off the fee increases for several months. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.